This is question number 7 from Pure Math 2 Pearson and Excel A level exam. It was taken on January 2024. Let us read the statement. Wheat is grown on a farm. In year 1, the farm produced 300 tons of wheat. This is for year 1. So we can say this is the first value of the series. In year 12, the farm is predicted to produce 4000 uh, tons of wheat. So because it is for 12th year, so you can write this value is for 12th year, okay? A12. Model A assumes that the amount of wheat produced on the farm will increase by the same amount. If there is a, a same increase, same common difference, that type of series is called arithmetic series or arithmetic progression, okay? So using model A, so model A will be arithmetic progression, okay? Model A. And uh, we need to find the amount of wheat produced on the farm in year 4. So you have to find A4. That's it. Okay. This is the information uh, for first part. We have first value, we have 12th value, and we need to find A4 value. If you remember the formula for nth term for, uh, for arithmetic series, it is given as An equals to A plus N minus 1 into T. This is the formula for nth term for arithmetic progression okay so uh, we will use this formula for this case for first part uh, here is uh, we have space here i'm writing all the values in this given space so we know that the first value is uh, 300 and 12th value is a12 is 4000 And you need to find A4. Okay. To find A4, you must have uh, this value D, common difference. Common difference you can get from here. Because A n equals to A plus n minus 1 into D. So A12 will be equals to, we can write, we can this uh, we can make this formula for this uh, as A plus 11 D by using the same formula for nth term. If here is n, here is n minus 1, okay? If here is 12, so it will be 11. Now plug in the values to get the value of t. 4000 equals a is 300 plus 11 d. Implies that, you know, this 300 will be sub subtracted from 4000, so it becomes 3700, okay? So you can write as 11 d equals to 3700. And D will be equals to 3700 over 11. So we got the value of T. Exact value for D is this one. Now, how to find A4? We can get A4 uh, by using the same formula. If here is 12, uh, we are writing 11D. Okay. So it will be A plus 3D. Now, plug in the values again. A is 300 plus 3 into 3700 divided by 11. Use calculator. Let us check the answer. It will be 3, uh, right as is on your calculator, you will get the answer. 300 plus 3 into 3700 divided by 11. You can close bracket here. That's equal. And we get the answer as in decimals. It is uh, 1309.09. Okay. Uh, there are more numbers, but no need to write. I'm writing just only up to two decimal places. But uh, if you read the question again, we have to write our answer to nearest 10 tons. So we have to round our answer to tens place. So if you notice that tens place is so this is the 10th place, this one, 0, okay? Look at the number next to it, it is 9. So we will round it up, 0 becomes, uh, zero nine 9 becomes 10, okay? So therefore, our answer will be A4 equals 1310 tons. So this is the answer for first part. Now, in second part, 
मॉडल बी अज्यूम्स दैट अमाउंट ऑफ वीट प्रोड्यूस ऑन द फॉर्म विल इंक्रीज बाय द सेम परसेंटेज इफ देयर इज अ कॉमन डिफरेंस दैट काइंड ऑफ सीरीज इज कॉल्ड अरिथमेटिक सीरीज एंड इफ देयर इज अ सेम रेशियो बिकॉज़ परसेंटेज इज अ रेशियो therefore we will use the other formula for ratio okay uh, if you remember the formula for ratio we will use the same uh, data okay what is given in the beginning of the question uh, we will use the same data but uh, for model b our series will be changed okay it will be a geometric series okay uh, let us write over here for b what are the values uh, we have a equals 300 and a12 equals 4000 and we need to find uh, year 2 what is the quantity of wheat in year 2 and we have to find year 2 okay this one okay let me use the different color here so it will be good so up to this one if uh, so this is all about for model a uh, for model b okay for model b okay so this is model b and uh, uh, this is in uh, this is in geometric progression okay this is in geometric progression uh, first part was for model a let me write it make it more clear for examiner so for model a this is for arithmetic progression okay therefore we are using uh, this formula here okay in the next one uh, we will use uh, for geometric progression uh, formula in geometric progression there is a common ratio and we need to find r here so if you remember the formula for nth term for geometric progression that is equals to a r to the power n minus 1 we can get again a uh, value of r from here you know a12 will be equals to a r to the power 11 uh, you know if a is n the power is n minus 1 if power uh, subscript for a is 12 then power of 11, r will be 11 1 less than 12 now plug in the values 4000 and here it will be 300 r to the power 11 Uh, you know that we can cancel out these two zeros and r power 11 will be equals to 40 over 3 how to get rid of uh, power 11 we will take the 11th root so r will be equals to 11th root uh, 400 uh, sorry it is 40 okay 40 over 3 and power will be 1 over 11 this is called 11th root now we need to find a2 a2 will be equals to a r power 1 no need to write one anyways it will be more clear for you so if subscript is 2 power will be 1 1 less than uh, this subscript okay so uh, use the values now a is uh, 300 and r is 40 over 3 power 1 over 11 Use calculator. Write the thing. Uh, write these numbers as is on your calculator, and you will get the answer. Okay, forty over three, and power of forty uh, over three is one over eleven. Write one over eleven as is. Okay. So this is. I'm writing the answer up to two decimal places here. Three hundred seventy nine point six five. Okay. but i have to round my answer to tens place uh tens place is over here so this is the tens place 7 okay look at the number next to it it is more than 5 therefore we will round it up so a2 will be equals to 300 and 80 79 becomes 80 okay 380 tons so this is the answer for second part now for third part calculate according to the two models we have two models model a model a is arithmetic series and model b is a geometric series and uh, we have to find uh, the difference between the total amounts so you have to use the sum of series formula we have two different formulas for uh, finding the sum of the series okay so uh, 
let me make space for this part we uh, first for uh, first of all you need to find uh we predicted to produce all the farm from year one to year 12 like up to 12 years you have to add up all uh, the 12 terms okay so we will use the some uh, uh some of series formulas for both cases and then we will make the difference so let's go for it uh okay so uh, here we go with it okay for c part we have uh same stuff okay for uh for model a for model a we know that model a is arithmetic progression okay it is arithmetic progression uh, we know that the first value is 300 and we got the value of d was uh, 3700 over 11 okay this is the information uh, we collected from first part okay so sum of the series formula for arithmetic progression is sn equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1. This is the formula to find the sum of arithmetic series. Okay. Now you want to find S12. We need to find S12 here. Okay. S12. So it will be 12 here. This is 12 by 2. For sure it will be 6. Okay because it is 12 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 2 into a is 300 and n minus 1 so it will be 12 minus 1 it will be 11 and into d value of d is 3700 divided by 11 okay uh, even though we can solve without calculator it is more easier to calculate it will be 600 11 cancelled out it will be 3700 and this one 6 multiply 600 plus 3700 makes 4300 okay now you can multiply if you don't know direct multiplication you can use calculator so two zeros 18 24 plus 1 25 so 25800 tons so this is the uh, sum for 12 terms for model a Okay, for model B, for model B, for model B, we know that model B is uh, in GP, okay, and uh, we know value of R was, uh, let me check it, this is 40 over 3, power 1 over 11, okay, sorry, uh, 40 over 3, 40 over 3, power, 1 over 11 so better you convert this r into a uh, decimal uh, decimal form so write as is on your calculator it will be 40 over 3 and uh, power is 1 over 11 that's it you get 1.2655 so it is 1.2655 there are more numbers to try down these numbers are enough okay so it is greater than one. Uh, we have two different formulas for finding the sum of ge uh, geometric series. Uh, so uh, it is you have to make it clear if r is greater than one or less than one. Okay. So for greater than one, we have this formula. S n equals to a into r to the power n minus one over r minus one. This is for greater than one, but uh, if it is less than one, we will exchange this one and r. One minus r, and here will be one minus r to the power n. Anyways, we will use this formula. Okay. Now plug in the values for twelve s twelve. So you get here a. We know that that is three hundred, and r is one point two six five five power twelve minus one divided by 1.2655 minus 1. Write this on your calculator. Uh, it will be 300 into 1.2655 power 12 minus 1. Press equal and then divide by 0 
So our answer to 10 tons will be 17933. Okay, uh, 0.55, so on. There are more, but those next number is uh, less than five. Therefore, you round it down. So answer is 17,930 tons. Okay. Now uh, you need to find the difference. What is the difference of these two? Okay. This is 12, uh, sum of 12 tons for GP and this is for AP. So how to find the difference? We will minus them. Let us check the difference. It will be 25,800 minus 17,930. So those calculator again, uh, it will be 25,800 minus 17,930. Our answer will be 7,870 tons. Okay. So this is question number seven. Again, if you have any doubt, if you do not understand any step, please let me know. Write in the comment box. Thank you.